Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. My God, I pray that you're having a great day in the Lord. The God of the Bible is good and he's worthy to be praised. But my friends today, before I invite you to join me to church tonight, I want you to know that I am fired up. Yes, I'm fired up. I want your attention because I want to tell you what has me riled today. And uh, I'm riled up. I mean, I could eat nails. I could chew nails because he's at it again. Yes, Donald uh, Carlton Lemon, or is it Lamont? or whatever, however you pronounce his name, Don Lemon of CNN uh, News, uh, Don Lemon. Uh, I know he's engaged to Tim Malone, and uh, this man has really said something that if left unchecked or unchallenged will be another direct assault on our faith. It's like putting the, the proverbial, uh, the, the story, they say that you can take a, a, a frog and put him into a pot of boiling water and, and a, a pot of water and boil the water at a slow enough temperature that the frog would never know that it has been uh, boiling and would die and not try to get out of that water. Well, they are attacking Biblically, biblical Christianity incrementally. Not too long ago, Chuck Todd said that, uh, uh, that the believers, those who uh, follow Donald Trump, said that they actually believe fairy tales. And here's, here's, here's what got me. I don't mind him criticizing any group of people who follow any politician. They probably deserve the criticism. I don't know. But he said that they believe fairy tales like that of the biblical story of Jonah. Well, Jesus spoke of Jonah. Jesus endorsed Jonah's story. And I believe Jesus and I believe the Bible. Look it up yourself. You will see what Chuck Todd said. Just Google it and you will see it. But back to this. Don Lamont, good old Don, said the other day, that Jesus Christ was not perfect. As a matter of fact, uh, good old Don said that Jesus Christ admitted, said admittedly Jesus said when he walked this earth that he was not perfect. Now, of course, Don offered no scripture. Of course, Don offered no Bible because there is none. Uh, I don't know if Don ever been to church before in his life. I don't know if uh, if he attended service uh, that he paid no attention or perhaps, perhaps because he is a homosexual male, he has to uh, say everything that he can, uh, uh, take a swipe at the Bible, denounce biblical Christianity, try to demean the faith. And I'll tell you what he said when he said that Jesus Christ was not perfect. I don't know how you can get any more blasphemous than that, because if Jesus, my friends, was not perfect, then Jesus is not is not the Christ. And if Jesus was not the Christ, son of the living God, then my friends, you and I are not. We are in our sins. We haven't been born again. The whole world is lost and there is is no savior. Now, just by the way, by the way, well, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say, preacher? Well, there's several scriptures. I mean, you can just almost close the, close the Bible, uh, close your eyes and take the Bible and just close it and let it fall over any verse uh, that, that teaches uh, that the, the sinless perfection of Jesus Christ. Had Christ committed one sin, that would have disqualified him from being the savior of the world. He was indeed the Lamb of God who, who came to take away the sins of the world. John the Baptist was preaching about him, and when Christ walked up, John said, Behold the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sin of the world. But in uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter number Number two, verse 22, Peter said this about Jesus Christ, who did no sin, 
neither was guile found in his mouth. Uh, the prophet Isaiah uh, had some wonderful things to say about Jesus Christ in chapter 53 and, uh, and verse uh, uh, 9 says, Speaking of Christ, Isaiah prophesies years before Christ is even born. He says, he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich, uh, his death in his death, because he had done no violence. And listen to this. Neither was any deceit found in his mouth. Now, now, not only, not only uh, is this true. Uh, about what Isaiah said, but apparently done, and from what I understand, you're quite educated, but you know, sometimes you can be an educated dummy because the thief on the cross, one of the thieves on the cross could recognize that Jesus was sinless. The man actually said in Luke's gospel, chapter 23 and verse 41, he says, and we indeed justly, for we receive due reward for our deeds, but this man, speaking of Christ, hath done nothing. And uh, this was a thief who said to Jesus, when you go into your kingdom, remember me. As far as I know, this thief uh, wasn't, uh, didn't have a college education. I know he didn't have a multi-million dollar contract reporting the news. He was just an, an ordinary lawbreaker who was guilty as charged and yet on the cross he could look over at bloody beaten Jesus and recognize that Christ had committed absolutely no sin. Now I guess Don, uh, Don Lamont, Don Lemon, whatever, however you pronounce the name, you could have spoken up. But Jesus in uh, Luke in John's gospel, chapter eight and verse 46, asked the question and no one could answer it. I guess Don, you could have. He says, which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Jesus wanted to know who can convince him of sin. Show me where I've done and done wrong. Show me where I've fallen short. Jesus Christ, the matchless son of God. How dare you, Don Lemon, to say, how dare you say that Jesus Christ was, praise God, that Christ was uh, not perfect when Jesus Christ was and is the perfect matchless son of God, the lamb of God, the soon coming king. And I tell you, I'm so glad that I serve Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that I've been washed in the blood of the lamb and I'm on my way to heaven. And I'll tell you something else, Don, I'm enjoying the trip. Jesus even said to the young rich ruler in Matthew's gospel, uh, chapter 19, I got to get out of this, but I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck because I want to defend my Savior. Hallelujah. This is above politics. This is not about Joe Biden or Donald Trump or the Republicans, nor the Democrats, the, the liberals, progressives, the right, the left. Oh, my, the conservatives. This is God's truth, which is above all of these, these things. But I got something to say to CNN as I close. But look at this. The young rich ruler, this young rich man in, in Matthew's gospel, chapter 19. Notice I'm giving you Bible 19 and verse 16 says, and behold, one came and said unto him, speaking of Jesus, good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And Jesus answered and said this to the man, why callest thou me good? For there is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt. He says, go ahead on, and if you will enter into life, keep the commandments. What was the point that Jesus was making? Jesus was actually not denying his divinity and his sinless perfection, but he was saying to the young man, don't just call me a rabbi. Don't just call me a good teacher. Don't just show me respect as a great human being. I am indeed the perfect, matchless son of God. I am God, the son. I am, praise the Lord, the word made flesh and is dwelling among you. I thank God for Jesus. And let me tell you something, Don Lemon. 
you know, for people who like to watch you, do your thing, man. You know, you got your show. I, by the way, am not one of them. But uh, do your thing. And for those who don't have a problem with you beaming into their uh, homes uh, every evening, uh, 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 be my guest. But I do have a question. In this day and time, where if a person inadvertently, accidentally, or even just be accused of making a homophobic, xenophobic, uh, all these phobic, uh, homophobic, xenophobic, racist, you name it, statement, and their careers are over. I haven't seen where CNN has even reprimanded you. I noticed on the show, O'Cuomo, he had, had that deer caught in the headlights look on his face. He's supposed to be a Catholic. He didn't correct you as you asserted that Jesus Christ was not perfect. And uh, I, to my knowledge, CNN hadn't written you up, fired you, reprimanded, reprimanded you or anything. So I guess at CNN and with those who follow good old Don, you can't be homophobic. You can't be xenophobic. You can't be a racist. You can't be any of these uh, things, but you can be antichrist. You can be blasphemous. You can deny the sinless perfection of Jesus Christ and nothing happens. I, I tell you what, had you said that about Muhammad, the Muslims would have hit the ceiling, but Christians, I don't know where it is, Gary. Christians won't fight anymore. Christians won't fight. We, you say shut down the church. Okay. You say Jesus, is, uh, Jesus uh, wasn't perfect. Cool. You say, you say uh, the uh, Jonah story is uh, a fairy tale. No problem. No outcry. I thank God at least uh, the, the people who were marching uh, 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 for, for, for George Floyd and uh, the folk out there marching and tearing down all the, they're tearing down all the statues. Now. <laughs> Started with the Confeder Confederates going to the unions and trying now to get Jesus Christ. Uh, Columbus has been beheaded. Lincoln has been attacked, so forth and so on. Or oh, even the flag, the, 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 the statue representing the, the declaration. And by the way, the slave wasn't kneeling to Lincoln. The slave was rising. He was rising with a clenched fist. Unveil his freedom is being demonstrated. The, 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 uh, the statue was paid for by slaves. Pray free slaves who helped raise the money to pay for. And folks want to pull it down. But you can do, but at least those people, let me get back on point. At least they have the courage of their conviction when many of them don't even know what their conviction is. But we Christians, you can sit there in your living room and see Don Lemon say that Jesus Christ was not perfect. And it doesn't even move you. you. You just sit there. I don't know, eating your popcorn or whatever it is you're doing. Uh, praise the Lord while you're watching him. But I want to say to you, Don, Jesus is perfect. And the day will come when you will see. The day will come when the whole world the whole world is going to see. The whole world will know. For every knee will bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And you're going to bow whether you want to bow or not. You're going to bow. The Muslims are going to bow. The Buddhists are going to bow. The atheists are, are going to bow. Satan worshipers are going to bow. Agnostics are going to bow. Now my time is running out. My time. Everybody's going to bow. And every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Man, I feel like preaching. So now listen. Meet me tonight. We're still talking about the foundations. And uh, I have something to say to you. I'm excited about the Lord and I'm fired up about this thing. I mean, how is a little puny man? A little puny man. Puny humans. We're all puny. A puny human being. A puny, sinful human being. Engaged to a man. Oh, my Lord. A sinful human being. Uh, uh, how can you make a statement like that about the Savior? But I will tell you this, Don, as I leave. Jesus loves you and he wants to save you. He died on the cross for your sins and mine. And I want to say to you, Don, you have not sinned too much for Christ to forgive. He'll make you whole 
He'll change your desires. He will undo in your spirit what was done to you when you was a child. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus rose again for you. And he'll save you just like that. Just confess him as Lord. Ask him to forgive you. Invite him into your heart. He'll come in. But until you do, when you make statements like the ones you made, then we got to set you straight. And we got to defend biblical Christianity and our Lord. God bless you. Meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Meet me here live. Meet me on Facebook live. Meet me on YouTube live. But meet me for Bible study. Yes, Bible study. We're going to study the word of the Lord together.